Namaste Swamiji. I am Anupama from Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. uh, I am suffering from uh, disc prolapse of um, L4 and L5, severe low back pain and cervical and also chronic migraines in so many years. Migraine wow. lasts from sometimes almost 24 hours and I will not be able to do anything. So migraine means what? Migraine is an imbalance in the body. It is showing a certain imbalance in the body. Migraine happens only, it is an indicator. Migraine is an indicator that there are a lot of imbalances in the body. Now, there are three kinds of alignment in the body. If you are not aligned properly in terms of uh, your physicality, then the functional uh, balance also becomes weak. What are those alignments? The first one is called as alignment of your navel. Alignment of your navel creates uh, strength of digestion, absorption, assimilation. So if your navel is not in the right position, you will get into digestive issues, absorption issues, and uh, that will lead to multiple issues in the body. The second uh, balance is the balance of uh, what you call as the switching on uh, of switching off of your breath. It is called as uh, Swara Vigyana. It is alignment of the middle of chest. Your heart and lung works uh, in a logged mode and they have a certain alignment which is uh, the middle of your chest or the bone which is there in the middle of the chest is a representative of your alignment of heart and lung. So that is second, it is called as Kaudi. The Nabhi alignment is called as Dharana. The second alignment is Kaudi or the alignment of chest. The third alignment is the alignment of thighs, nale, that creates strength within the body. So usually the way we are living our life, the and we can call it the lifestyle. And as I indicated before also, if you squat, you actually align all these three things, but you have stopped squatting or you have now chairs and sofas with backrest. You don't sit without a backrest. What will happen? The first thing that will happen is you lose the alignment. And apart from that, there are other aspects of alignment, loss of alignment. So if you lose the functional alignment, the alignment of the physical body and the functional alignment of the internal body, migraine is an indicator which shows you have lost the alignment. Get it back. So disc prolapse will also happen when your uh, body is not aligned. Because these are very, you can say, mechanically arranged mechanically arranged aspects and uh, the strength of holding it in the right position the strength of holding it in the right position happens not because of a particular part of the entire skeletal map the strength of holding your disc is an aspect of entire skeletal map so let me tell you human beings are losing skeletal strength in the last 50 years, we are losing skeletal strength because we are moving towards muscle, uh, uh, what you call as ease, ease, uh, mm, muscle. We, we always want to relax our muscles. Yes. So too much relaxing your muscles will always create skeletal weakness. Wherever you sit, you know, you sit on a, a very soft surface, you always recline, you have a bean bag to actually jump into or a bed, so soft to jump into. You don't want to sit on any hard surface, you don't want to hold your body with your own strength. So we are losing skeletal strength. If we lose skeletal strength, your disc will not be able to hold proper position and disc bulge or prolapse is a common thing which is happening with many people now. So what to, how to happen? Wow, how to help yourself or how to come out of this situation? So what happens, what you are told is we can actually do a surgery upon that area. Surgery can be a help if there is a lot of discrepancy at that particular area, but it will not cure you. One disc prolapse, then another, then another, then joints will give up, then other things will give up. That's now how to approach a solution. You can take that support if there is too much of a difficulty. You can take the support of your medicine. If there is too much difficulty, you take the support of medicine. But at least go towards cure. So creating a skeletal strength is important, working upon yourself. 
and uh, ashtan chikitsa has aspect when, when we say hatha vinyasa it is creating skeletal strength only and even kumbhak will create a skeletal strength not only skeletal uh, skeletal strength it will also create other kind of strength within the body as i explained there are six balas in the body kumbhak will increase all those six balas and you'll see after a certain time of practice you'll feel very light in your body and ease in your body 